Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, never tried this before, but I'm going to take all these colors, put it in this shot glass, then take this shot glass and drop it down into this cup of white paint, and then flip it over onto this board. So the colors that I'm using are Artist Loft, Turquoise, Artist Loft, Ultramarine, Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta, Deco Art 24 Karat Extreme Sheen Gold, and for my white, I am going to use this Unicorn Spit. And all of these have been mixed with Floetrol, a little bit of water for consistency, and no silicone. So I'm going to start pouring these paints into the shot glass. And I want to do, since I have four colors, a fourth of the shot glass of each one. I keep eyeballing this cup of white paint. It looks like a awful lot of paint but I needed a uh, enough paint that when I drop the shot glass down in it that it covers over the top of it and I've watched um, Christina Welsh do these so many times and she makes it look so easy <laughs> but I know there's got to be a trick to it so um, gonna give it a try she has inspired me and I've watched a lot of her her videos. If you haven't checked her out yet, I'm going to link uh, one of her paintings to this in a card and then I'll have her link to her channel in the description below. So here we go. We're going to drop it down in here and that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to cover it. But it still looks like a lot of white paint. <laughs> So I'm going to flip the board over, put it on top of the cup, and I want to make sure I have it pressed tightly, and flip. So far, so good. Let it rest for a second, and then start releasing the cup from the MDF board. This is a um, 12 inch MDF board by the way and so far it's looking good but there's a lot of paint still coming out of this cup yeah <laughs> there's a lot okay and we still haven't got all the paint out of the shot glass yet Wowzers. <laughs> I'm not sure that I did this Christina style, but I'm going to have to um, tilt this quite a bit. And I really like the turquoise right there on the right side. I'm just hitting it with a torch to pop any of the bubbles. And there were a few on the surface so let's see what we can do here now that gold puddle just is staying a puddle it's doesn't appear to be moving a whole lot it's forcing me to pour off that um, turquoise that I liked So, it's a lot of gold, folks. Let's try tipping it a little bit more. See if I can stretch some of that. There's a little bit of the other colors coming through, but it's still a lot of gold on there. Okay. 
Okay. So, I think I'm going to let it rest right here. See if we can get any more of the other colors to come through. Just going to run over this with the torch again and make sure there's no uh, bubbles in. Also, this might help some of those other colors come up through that gold. But right now, that extreme sheen is holding on tight. Seeing a little bit of the colors coming through, but I decided to set it to the side, and I have so much leftover paint. I dipped some 4x4 four four canvases in what was left on the table, and now I still have some paint left in my cups, so I am going to mix them into one and then do a dirty pour over this uh, glass vase. So I'm going to start with the turquoise cup and I'm just going to use that instead of starting another clean cup. I see no reason to, to use another cup. So we're going to add the magenta into the turquoise. And next we'll put the gold on top of just a little bit of the gold didn't use all of it on um, to the um, magenta and now I'm adding the ultramarine on top of the gold then just a little bit of white and this is not the uh, unicorn spit. This is actually Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. And then I'm going to add the rest of the gold. And just in case I forgot to tell you, all my paints are mixed with Floetrol, a little bit of water, no silicone. So now I'm going to take this cup and just at the very edge of the vase, just go around and around and allow the paint to run down the side um, until I use all the paint up. I do not want to put paint on the bottom. And uh, I got some really good tips uh, the last time I did a vase and Lisa Wyatt um, said that when she does hers she covers hers with a layer of white paint that she just smears on with her hand and it allows the paint to flow all the way down the vase but I've got a idea kicking in the back of my head that I want to try with a vase that um, the paint doesn't go all over the vase so um, that's what I'm aiming for with this one. So I'm just going to do a little bit of heat from the torch here in case there's any bubbles. We'll make sure that they're popped. And then I'm going to take you in and let you see what it looks like right now. I expect this to change a lot because um, it's going to continue to flow down and I'm not going to add another layer of the paint on here. To make it opaque, I'm going for a more transparent look after it dries. So this is the round that I did to start the video off with and you can tell it hasn't changed a whole lot. Some of the colors might be popping up a little bit more but it is what it is I think. This is one the first 4x4 canvas that I dipped into the leftover paint. This is the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And once all that leftover paint, when the vase is finished, 
uh, drying. Once the leftover paint has completely dried, I'm going to peel it off of this um, parchment paper and then um, use it for other projects. And here they are all dried. I haven't done anything else like resin or varnish or anything to them yet, but I think when I do, it's really going to pop all these colors. I think they're pretty. So these are the four 4x4 four four canvases, and I dip them in the paint, and each one looks differently even though I dipped it in the same paint, so those turned out pretty. And it goes over the sides all the way around. And then this is the round MDF board. And the gold is still very dominant. <laughs> but um, I think we add some resin or something to that and some other design element and it, it will look really good. And then last, but not least, we have the little glass face. And I really like it. Um, I've got some additional work to do to this. I'm not gonna add any more paint, but I am gonna add some, uh, some kind of bling to this. And um, I think it turned out cute for what I have in mind. But that will be for another video. So now is the time that I like to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now and ring that bell. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Please click like and share because you help my channel grow when you do that. And I thank you for watching. Hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye.